Hey there, it's Jay once again with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. And today's agenda, the dynamic slashing of fantasy riprap, an online collectible card game, online pixel anime, movie making, the adventures of a lost knight, and your favorite Ninja Turtles. Let's go! We'll start with a game called Iron Knights. It's a slasher made in the best traditions of the genre. You have to push forward hacking and slashing waves of mobs. All levels are essentially the same. It's a long corridor that you run through, and at the end of it, you have a boss fight. The whole game is made in a fantasy style with skill upgrades. There are a few RPG elements, but just not enough, I would say. For example, there is no story as such, and that is a disappointment, because the slashing part is very good and fun to play. And the graphics are awesome, too. So overall, the game is good, but it could have been so much better. The second game is called Magic 2015. This is part of a long line of Magic the Gathering video games produced every year to capitalize on the new card sets in print for the actual collectible card game. The port is a good one, and the game's cool. I mean the visual aspect. It's very well designed and pleasant to the eye. As for the gameplay itself, you have to compose the best deck you can out of the cards you have. That includes lands to produce mana for you to cast spells and summon creatures with to defeat your online or AI opponents. As you may have guessed, the cards represent creatures with their own abilities, and if you don't want to lose, you have to learn how to effectively use their strengths and weaknesses. The game has a donation aspect, but it's not much of a trouble, because apart from major drawbacks, the game has major advantages, and there is a lot of the game you can play for free. The next game is Ragnarok Online – Path of Heroes. For those who don't know this game, this is an Android port of a well-known pixel anime MMO. Probably every MMO fan has heard about this thing, and may have even played it. And that means the game is wildly popular, and you'll hardly have a chance to get bored. In this version, the interface has been remade for the touchscreen, level caps are increased, and there are also new arenas. In short, Ragnarok fans should check it out. As for the rest of you, if you're cool with these specific features, you are welcome to play it. Next up is Movie Wood. We haven't had fun farms and other crap in a long time, although this game resembles those games only with its graphics, because the gimmick here is different. Here we will manage a film studio and all that jazz construct the sets, cast actors, and even create movie posters. It's all up to you. The game also has the hidden object type of game elements. Apparently, they wanted to mix in as many things as they could to make the game more appealing. And they totally succeeded, though I don't like the art style, which reminds me of games made for little girls. The idea is generally a good one, especially as developers promise to update the game as new popular movies come out. And now's the time for a platformer called Kai's Quest which tells us the story of a knight called Kais, who is lost in space and time and wants to go home. To do this, the poor guy will have to deal with diabolical obstacles, such as bathyscapes and starships. The game is a motley crew of assorted platformers piled together and united by one main character. In this game, we can see a space side-scroller standing in line with the medieval platformer and other stuff. Generally, the game turned out to be quite nice and playable. Besides, it's like you get several games all in one. In short, you should play it. Well, the last one for today is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Woohoo! This game is a very cool and well-made arcade slasher starring our favorite shelled heroes. We have awesome cartoony graphics and lots of action, so what else do you need to be happy? Gameplay happens mainly in an arena where you're kicking the ass of whole packs of enemies at a time. By the way, you kick those booties by swiping sideways to the right direction. Sometimes you do combos that look really cool, and there's a chance that another turtle will turn up to make the ass kicking even more effective. Everything's very bright, well-made, with strong voice acting and dialogue, so go and play it! Well, that's all for today. Like, comment, and join the group. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!